everyone and welcome to Hoopla Kids Recipes. Today I'm going to show you how to make Pikachu macaroons. Don't these look incredible? Let's head to the food processor. I'm combining one cup of almond flour and two cups of icing sugar. Give it a good mix. Now we're going to add three egg whites to a bowl and whisk them. We want to make the egg whites light and fluffy. Now add a pinch of salt, a quarter of a teaspoon of cream of tartar, and give it another good mix. Gradually add a quarter of a cup of granulated sugar. See how the mixture is becoming really light and solid? Whisk it until the peaks form. Now add some yellow food colouring. We need to make sure Pikachu is yellow. We're going to sieve in the dry mixture. This is really important. We want it to be light and fluffy and the sieving takes out all the lumps. Push the final bits through. Now we're not going to mix, we're going to fold. This is absolutely essential to make sure that the macaroons are light and fluffy. Perfect. Scoop most of the mixture into a large piping bag. Now scoop the remaining mixture into a small piping bag. We want a really small nozzle for this one. I'm drawing some circles onto a piece of baking parchment. This will act as a guide for our Pikachu macaroon. Draw the Pikachu ears. Dot some of the mixture onto each corner of a baking tray and stick down the baking paper. This is a great way of making sure that the baking paper stays down. Use the large piping bag to pipe the circles in a large space, just like I'm doing here. Great, now we're using the small piping bag to pipe out the ears. Looking good. Drop the tray down to release any air bubbles. This is important, otherwise our macaroons won't look great. We're going to bake at 300 degrees Fahrenheit for 20 minutes. Now it's time to decorate. I'm using black icing to add all the detail. I'm also adding some gorgeous red cheeks and a red tongue, as well as white for detail on the eyes. Now let's add half a cup of heavy whipping cream to half a cup of chocolate chips and melt in the microwave. Melt the filling of 10 Oreos and mix together. I'm now taking a plain circle macaroon and I'm spreading the mixture on top of it. I'm sitting my Pikachu on top of this and voila, doesn't that look great? A Pikachu macaroon. Perfect. Well done, everyone. Remember, practice makes perfect. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle Cupcakes. So let's get started. I have one pack of cupcake mix and I'm gonna mix it up according to the instructions on the packet. So I'm adding 180 mils of water, 90 mils of sunflower oil, and three eggs. Once you've done that, we're gonna give it a good stir. I'm using an electric whisk. Mix it all together, cause we don't want any lumps. Now I'm adding some green food coloring. This will mean that the mixture is green like the turtles. Mix it all together. 
The next thing we're going to do is to fill the cupcake cases with the mixture. I'm using green cupcake cases to match the actual cupcake. Then I'm baking at 180 degrees for 20 to 25 minutes. Now I've got some green food dye and I'm adding it to some buttercream icing. Give it a good mix. Next I'm going to add the mixture to a piping bag. Let's ice the cupcakes. First I'm going to cut the top off all of them. This gives us a nice flat surface to work with. Look at that green icing go! Doesn't that look awesome? Delicious! I'm now smoothing the icing out. We want to cover as much of the cupcake as possible. Dip the knife in some hot water to smooth it if you're having any trouble. Now I'm going to use the icing and I'm going to pipe turtle mouths onto the cupcakes. Set them aside. Now I'm rolling out some blue fondant icing. We're making Leonardo's eye bandana. I'm cutting a strip out of the blue. I'm now going to cut a slit into the end of the blue fondant strip and then I'm going to cross over each section. I'm cutting out two circles. These are going to be where the eyes are. Now I'm going to repeat the step on the orange fondant. We want them to match perfectly so use your first one as a template. Let's repeat for red and purple. Now we're going to attach the bandana to the cupcake. Perfect! These are looking like the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles already. Now we need to fill in the details. I'm using white and black icing to create the detail of the eyes. Now use black icing to add a final smile. Perfect! We want to repeat that on every cupcake. And there you have it. We've got Leonardo, Donatello, Michelangelo and Raphael, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Perfect! Monster cupcakes! Don't these look awesome? So for this we are going to make up one pack of cupcake mix. You should make it up according to the instructions and I'm using 180 ml of water, 90 ml of sunflower oil and 3 eggs. I'm mixing it all together using an electric whisk. We don't want any lumps. Now I'm going to fill some cupcake cases with the mixture. These need to be baked at 180 degrees Celsius for 15 to 20 minutes. And then they'll come out looking golden brown and delicious. So let's make some decorations now. I'm taking some blue fondant icing and I'm rolling it out flat. I now want to cut out five small circles. I'm using the top of a piping nozzle. It makes the perfect small circle. I'm now using some icing as glue and I'm sticking on some white chocolate buttons. 
I've got some red icing and I'm going to put on some creepy veins. These are going to be eyeballs. Use some black icing to fill in the pupil. Don't these look awesome? These are going to look great on our cupcakes. We're now going to attach the eyes to some cocktail sticks. Set them aside and now we're going to cut a circle out of orange fondant icing. I'm using a cookie cutter to make a big orange circle and I'm also using some white icing to stick on a white button like we did before. This is going to be one giant eye so I'm using black icing to fill in the pupil. Again, I'm attaching this eye to a cocktail stick. I want my cupcakes to look super special, so I'm now going to roll out some blue fondant icing. We want to roll it really flat. I'm going to cut a rectangle out of the blue. This is going to surround our cupcake. Set that aside. We're now going to roll out some black fondant icing. Using a cookie cutter, I'm cutting out a circle and I'm halving it. This is going to be the mouth of one of our monsters. I'm using a little bit of water as glue and I'm sticking it to our glue fondant icing. So now let's assemble. I'm removing the casing from one cupcake. I'm covering the sides with some buttercream. This is going to act as glue and I'm going to wrap my green rectangle all the way around it. See how it creates this awesome cover? That's what makes these monster cupcakes super special. I'm going to draw some fangs on using white icing. And now I'm going to pipe some blue icing onto the top. I've got a great nozzle that makes it look like hair. Doesn't that look awesome? Now let's attach the eyes. Ooh, super creepy, but super awesome. Doesn't he look great? Now let's finish our other one. We're going to repeat the same process with orange fondant icing. We're going to cut a long rectangle out to cover our cupcake. I'm now going to cut another circle out of black fondant icing. And I'm going to cut out a crescent moon shape using the cookie cutter. This is a happy smiling monster. I'm attaching the shapes together using water once more. Remove the cupcake casing. And now spread the sides with buttercream. Once that's done, you can wrap the fondant around, just like we did before. Let's draw some teeth on again using white icing. I'm now using a different nozzle to pipe some orange icing onto the top. I've got some orange topping that I'm sprinkling to make it nice and crunchy. And then I'm attaching the one single eye in the middle. Super cute. Doesn't that look awesome? Make sure you remove the cocktail sticks before you eat them. And let's look at the two of them together. Perfect monster cupcakes. Yum. Pokemon bomb cake. Don't these look incredible and they're edible. First up, we're going to spread some red velvet cake mixture onto a baking tray. Bake that until it's cooked through. Now let's head to the hob. We're going to add half a cup of white chocolate to a bowl over simmering water. Add an eighth of a cup of whole milk and melt over a low heat. Now add three beaten eggs. Stir that together as it melts. Take off the heat and cover with cling film. Leave that in the fridge to set. Now let's take some white chocolate and melt it in the microwave. Coat one half of each segment in a dome mold with the white chocolate. It's important that you use a silicon mold because that is what is gonna create the awesome shiny look on our Pokemon bomb cake. Fill in any gaps using a paintbrush. Chill and repeat until it's completely covered. 
don't worry if it's not smooth on the inside because of the silicon mold it's going to be perfectly smooth on the outside. When cool, take the red velvet mixture out of the pan and cut out six circles using a cookie cutter. Yum! Set them aside. I'm now going to melt some red chocolate. I'm going to coat the remaining half of the mould with this red chocolate. We're going to use a similar process as we did with the white. Let that set in the fridge. Now I'm taking 300 ml of heavy whipping cream. Whip it until it's solid. We're now going to fold together the whipped cream and the white chocolate mixture. Place some of this mousse mixture into each of the moulds. Now pop the circle of the red velvet cake on top. These are going to taste delicious. Freeze for a few hours and then you can remove your Pokeball. Look at that! It's perfect! I can't believe how shiny these are. Don't they look great? And they're actually really easy to make. So let's take some black icing and decorate. I'm doing a black line to cover the seam between the red and the white. Finally, I'm adding a white chocolate button and then going around that with the black icing. And there you have it, a Pokeball. Amazing, Pokemon bomb cakes, they go perfectly with our Pikachu macaroons. Thanks very much for watching Hoopla Kids Recipes everyone. See you again soon. Bye!